Hello everybody, I am Spectacular. How are you? Today I am at Coin Guy's shop in Spring Hill, Florida. He had some coins that he wanted me to show to you all. So here I am showing you some of these coins, silver and gold. There's this really cool eagle from 2020 that has a really noticeable error on it. Some really neat foreign gold and a lot of other neat trinkets in the shop. Stay with me, I wanna show these to you now. Mr. Guy, you have some uh, interesting things you want to show off real quick, don't you? Yes, I do. These came in. I had bought rolls of 2020 Eagles, and I sold them to one of my clients. He took the time to look through every one, and he found these. This is blockage. That means that there was a piece of foreign material in the die when it came down to stamp or was laying on the planche at the coin as it was laying in the collar to be hit, and it blocked it. And I'm wondering what state that is. If you think, I think it's one of the Carolinas. I'm not sure. Now I've looked these. I've looked up any kind of blockage you can find. I mean, pieces a quarter of the size of that go for a couple of hundred. So I'm entertaining prices. It, I think it's just so cool. Look at the size of it. When we sent that to ICG, they called me with permission to put it on their website. So it must have impressed them at the time too. That's interesting. Yep. So. They put the holder is, I mean, the reverse is like the shining star of this holder. Yeah. So they put it like, you know. Put it in the front. That's what yeah, it's all yeah, about. Yeah. You know, it's not the eagle. It's the, it's the wow, wow error. If you look them up online, they're, they're nowhere near this kind of size. And this, this is one of those really like 1955 double die as compared to other double dies that are min minuscule. I find that so cool. That is like, wow. So everybody check their 2020s. Yeah, I, we got a monster box in, and I had Tara go through them about 10 days ago. Went through them all. That's crazy. Yeah. So you said that they're worth about how much? I don't know. I see ones that are a fraction of the size of that go anywhere from 180 to 250. Um, I mean, these are, these are monster ones compared to that. Yeah. I mean, this is the size of a dime, really. It's, it's huge. It's pretty big. Uh, we also picked up a couple of nice pieces of gold recently. I had a customer fly in from Puerto Rico. I was up in St. Augustine at my son's store, the Vault and Company down there, right on Ponce Leon Avenue in St. Augustine. And uh, he flew in and we did a video. You know, I could see it on my phone. And uh, Nathan just showed me and we gave him prices and we got them. Uh, and the South American pieces, they sell pretty well. I thought these were pretty cool. Um, I, got the, cool. I got the weight on them. Um, this one has 20,000 maids, 45% of an ounce. This one is 52% of an ounce, but the 1800s. Yeah, beautiful. Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Rica. My son keeps yeah, wanting to Brazil. move to Costa Rica. What's so good about Costa Rica? It's supposed to be beautiful, and you can get a, a manservant or maid for $100 a week there, and Beautiful weather. It's supposed to be a place for expats, Americans to go there. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have a buddy that wants to move to uh, Ecuador. He really wants to go there. Somebody was <laughs> telling me Panama. I, Panama too. I, I don't know. I think I'd rather slug it out in the in America. Yeah, I think I'm going maybe to. Maybe coming or whatever. Yeah. But uh, what's this? What's this all about? Just just a key? Yeah, that's just a really nice one of my own pieces that that fills the time to move it out. It's uh, one of the keys after the sixteen. That's one of the most expensive standing quarters, the uh, 23S in an AU. It's just a really nice piece. Beautiful condition, um, man. Somebody had called me about this error, and he didn't get back to me, and I lost his number. So if he hears about it, I'm still here. It's still available. Oh, yeah. This is the one we showed off on the other video, too. Yeah. That's a nice one, too, man. I'd love to have that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's way cool. And this is the uh, – we had talked about this. This is, was, of course, a hobo nickel. But this is the ultimate one because it's a 1913S in extra fine. So it's got multiple values. It's another coin I wasn't looking to sell, but circumstances are such that some pieces I'm willing to part with. So this uh, is the key to the Buffalo set? Yeah, the 13S Type 2. Yeah. Some think the three-legged, but the three-legged is actually a variety. 
You don't have to have it in the set. Most sets don't have it. So um, this is the 13S. EF40, that grade, uh, without the hobo nickel, what, what do you think you'd be talking? About 400. So because of the hobo nickel aspect on a key date, And I'm that's trying special. to find out if it's a bird or, or um, a bird or... A bow? It? Bow. Yeah, bow or bird. Or See, I'm learning stuff yeah. from you. You're learning. <laughs> I had COVID, so some things go through my mind I don't remember. <laughs> I'm learning a little bit. But, and I also pulled out a bag of this stuff. This is Olympic silver. I mean, I just don't can't get silver, even though it's dropping a little bit. Um, this stuff was, these, these retail for 40 and 20, respectively, in the books. And that's two, three years ago. So, you know, these have nine, this has almost an ounce. That's almost a half an ounce. They're Russian Olympics, and they are silver coins. Uh, they're 90% by purity. These are almost half ounce. These are almost one ounce. All right, and help, I'm help. looking for 30 and 15. So 30 for the, the big ones? 30 for the big ones. Big ones, okay. And 15 for the small ones. Various, that's, whatever they may be. That's pretty cool. And they're in great shape. Well, they're, they're proofs. Now, hold on a second. What what sport is this? This guy has a stick, and he's about to throw it. What, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> this is uh. Who knows, right? What a sp the javelin? I don't know. It's like a baby javelin it's if like it is. It's got dirty words on it, too. I don't know. Yikes. But, uh, yeah, I know this one. I, she, I feel like she's the, the gymnastic chick. Yeah. This guy's lifting weights, but what is Can that guy doing there? a chick? What are you, crazy? Wait, you can't say chick? Uh, I don't know. What do you got to say? This looks like basketball. You can't say chick now? Can't even call it a girl. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is volleyball. Right. Every other one. You this can identify. Basketball. What is this one? This must be wrestling. Yeah, this is definitely wrestling. This. Yeah, show her that one with the chick on it. With the chick on it. You can't say chick, really? Is that bad? This isn't a chick. This is a gentleman. Oh, well, that one is for sure. I'm talking about this one. And this is Asian. That's a looking. chick. Hey, wait. This looks like. That might crazy. be a dude. Wait, is that a guy? This looks like they're wrestling the dragon. That might actually be a guy. I don't even know. This, is a... this might be a dragon or a giant snake. What is that? You want to instantly say chick, but then you look at it close. You're like, wait a minute. Now I have to be this correcting. This is gymnastics, and he's on the. These are not all the Russian. Beam. These are these are these are Korean. I got Korean and Russian. I I, I stand corrected. So you can tell the Russian. This one's Korean. So you got a mixture here. Yeah. Yes. Same price. <laughs> Probably more expensive since I think it's the only this those Koreans. I don't know. It snuck, snuck in here. No, this is probably some kind of. Now look at this. This might be. Um, the Bureau of Engraving called me and he asked me if that would work. And I oh. said I had no problem with it. I know that president. Yeah. President Coin Guy. Is it Koba? What is the Asian stick fighting? That's cool. I don't know. Asian stick fighting? Yeah, you saw yeah. it on like Sherlock and everything. They're trained in it. I don't know. It's like well, then some martial art, then. It's a form of martial art. Okay. That's so, what that would be. So he's about to beat somebody with that stick. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> or, he's, or he's making really cool, like, uh, uh, Lincoln logs. Maybe that's what he's doing, right? Because he has little designs. Uh, I don't know. This is just a quickie. <laughs> but I do want to update everybody on the, uh, on the uh, zombie apocalypse. Remember we talked about that for, for a few minutes and what it really means? You know, lack of currency and... There was a reporter on the news who was in Hong Kong. He said it's like the zombie apocalypse, despair and just melancholy. Michigan State just came out with a new course in the fall, surviving the zombie apocalypse. Oh, boy. We're getting closer and closer. Um, you know, it's just, it's just kind of <laughs> scary. It just really, and that's why you have so many new people coming in all the time. They're afraid of where we're headed, and uh, they don't know what to do. They're buying silver. I have a person who sent me money today to pick them up silver, and I got to try and get them what they're looking for. I mean, I got another person coming in. I'm talking older people who are buying at this point, and they're mostly buying for their grandchildren, their children. And I still, I buy and put it away when I can get ahead of it. Uh, it's just that much harder to come across. So um, as far as uh, your opinion surviving this uh, zombie apocalypse, what do you think? You need, uh, need some gold? Silver, maybe some freedom seeds. <laughs> you need gunpowder and lead also. <laughs> and if you look at the price, it got damn it, my Tara, give me those orange caps. She's, I think she's that way. There she go. <laughs> you know what I want the 87 and the 86. Yes. Now, in all my years of going to shows, and I have probably been at seven or eight hundred shows since you know 1972, 
Now, I have never seen these, these before. This is a roll. This is the original roll of the 86s. The story we looked up, this is where they put them before they had the green caps. So before they came out with the, the green caps, while they were waiting, they put them in these 86s in orange cap rolls. I'd never seen them. I bought a collection with these. And this is what these, so these are technically first strikes because they didn't have these in yet. And they put them in these. I'd never seen them in, and I'm talking about 35 years of shows. I've never seen them. I talked to a friend of mine up in St. Augustine. He said he's seen them, and they have they have a premium. They have, I guess because you figure they're first strikes. We looked them up. These go for a few. Both these go for about a few hundred more than the regular ones. Do. Wow. Are they are they already cracked open? Well, I opened one because I didn't know what they were. This one isn't opened. Uh, this one, Come they on. had put this back on. But I didn't take anything out. I yeah. just looked at them. And so but I thought it was just so cool. I'd never seen them before. You can see the middle. That's crazy. Yeah. This is what they used. What happened? They used them in 86. Then they had the green caps. And then they used all the green caps. And when 87 started again, they still had some of the orange ones that said, hey, the first run of these, let's stick them in these just to get rid of them. That's pretty cool. So I had five of these and two of these. And as I said, that, you know, you still learn things. I'd never seen these before. And I'm talking about hundreds and hundreds of shows, and I've never seen an or I never looked for them, or I disregarded them because I thought they almost look like a little pipe bomb or something like that. Yeah, right. Some kind of homemade thing you stuck together with caps. But that's what I'd want to talk about. I thought that that was, They're to cool. me, was a discovery. Awesome. Are yeah. those for sale? Uh, they are. They're yeah. probably not cheap, huh? No, they are. They, the last ones of these are selling for fourteen hundred. Wow, that's cool. And man. these are selling for about a thousand. Wow, but, that's uh, awesome. About three hundred more than normal, a little more than that, but they're hard to come by. And as I said, that's where even my friend who was telling me about it, he had seen them, and uh, he said, "Why are these so much?" And he explained, "These are technically first strikes in a way, and if you get a seventy in these, you know, these are I don't know five seven hundred dollars in a seventy. Not saying they are, but I didn't really sort through them. Yeah, I opened one to look." But I have a few rolls available. I think they're cool. They're, you know, it's something I'd never seen before. You're still learning things. You got a lot of know. cool things just on this little table. Let me ask you real quick about uh, gold. I've, I've seen the prices of gold and silver. I've uh, been coming down a little bit these last few days. Uh, what's going on with that? Are premiums still the same? What's happening? Premiums are still high because you can't get it. I have 10 buyers for every seller. I picked up three monster boxes three weeks ago. I'm down to a couple of hundred, including this stuff. Uh, they just go right out the door and I'm getting, I'm, I'm turning down people from out of state just to have it for locals. Um, they're just so hard to come by. There's so much demand. Uh, I really think that this is Morgan Stanley and then showing you like those people who tried to make a run on silver about a month ago, they're showing you how it's done. I don't know. Are they shorting the market to bring it all the way down so that they can, you know, make big money later? The last guidance I saw was they were talking silver at 50, you know, and here we are silver at just over 25. I'm still a buyer. There are many people, you buy in cross average. Right. Uh, I don't have product. I mean, I have somebody coming in, taking the last of my 90%. Going down isn't going to change the premiums because you can't get it readily. You're still going to pay a lot more than you would have paid a year ago for it. Uh, it just is what it, maybe that's the new norm. Maybe you're going to see 7 to $10 over. Um, you know, my son is selling Eagles up in, uh, up in St. Augustine, and he gets a couple of dollars more per coin, more than I do. A different clientele. But they still, just a matter of, you know, supply and demand. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what they're doing up there. Yeah. Very cool. But, uh, All right, Guy. Well, listen, thank you very much for pretty, showing pretty, me. Yeah. yeah. Is anything else you want to show? Are you pretty good? No, I think that's about it. That was the new stuff, and I wanted to talk about these. And I wanted to show these up. I think those are just so cool. This is awesome. Yeah. I think I've never seen anything so big. No. You know, how many were there? Were there only two? It was in the middle of a roll, he said. That's the question. Now yeah. I got to go pop out the ones that I haven't opened yet just to see what's going on. You I mean, know? I think they're awesome. I, I don't know what they're worth. Are they worth $500? I would think they are, really. Yeah. Because I've seen little ones that are 179 and 200, and they're the size of the zero and one. I mean, this is, you're talking about blockage wow 
This is going to have people opening up those uh, sealed monster boxes. They've I'm been telling you, you know? I just, uh, <laughs> we did. We got we got a monster box in and had Tara go through all of them. So cool Couldn't to find, find that any. stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. I thought, well, that's the game, isn't it? That's the hunt. Yeah. That's what we love to do. I wish everybody good health, happy Easter, and God bless America. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.